What's up, guys? John here from Titan, and I'm down here in Tampa, Florida at Titan headquarters out of our state-of-the-art facility here in Channelside. That's right, downtown. So we have this beautiful facility. We want to make sure our patients got the best care and best service possible. So we had to have the best, right? But I want to take you on the outside of the building and maybe show you some things that will motivate you, hopefully, to get on your own health and wellness journey with Titan Medical Center. So follow me, you guys. Let's go outside. What steps are you taking to progress in your health, fitness, and even immunity these days, right? Our goal here at Titan Medical Center is to help you achieve long-lasting, healthy results, whether it be weight loss, lean muscle mass, or just want a better quality of life. So along with these different things, have you guys ever had vitamin or amino acid injectables? They're great. Higher absorbency, fastest transportation rate you're gonna get, and great results, and that's the key. And like I said, are you ready for your results? Well, you gotta be ready to get some results, but the first thing you do is you need to contact us. We can help you guys rejuvenate yourself. We can also help you in all aspects of your life, from mental aspects to physical aspects, to even stepping up in the bedroom, right? We're focused on your health 24-7. We wanna make sure that we are giving you guys the proper care at the best possible service that we can offer. We also have new IV drips. So if you guys are local or you guys are flying in, please come on down and get an IV drip. You guys can do multiple different things of nutrients, amino acids, vitamins, super antioxidants, and a lot more. And it's not an easy journey, but we're gonna be there for you in all the situations that you guys are gonna go through, we've been doing this for nine years. So we can help you guys navigate through this journey of health and wellness for yourself. Time travel rejuvenation detox, glutathione. It's a super antioxidant. It's great for the immune system. It's great for free radicals and a number of different other things. And if you guys are thinking, hey, listen, I'm having other symptoms of possibly issues that I don't know, it could need bioidentical hormone replacement therapy for males and females. So if you guys are interested in any of these services that I talked about or want to be a, a part of the Type Medical Center family and help your journey for health and wellness, then call us today, 727-389-3220. You can also text that number if you guys are always on the go like I am. If you want to check it out later, TitanMedicalCenter.com. I'm John from Titan, and I'm looking forward to you to become part of the Type Medical Center family.
Titan, and I want to let you guys in on a little secret. We actually have a new Team Titan exclusive member, my man Reggie here. What's up, guys? So Reggie is actually from Tampa, Tampa local, and that's what I've been trying to get as far as my people, as far as the team. I want to make sure that we have great representation out there, great athletes, great attitudes, and just overall good people, right? So Reggie, been watching for a long time. Yeah. Great as far as in the fitness industry, you know, helping clients, helping people out daily with their health and fitness. Oh yeah. Right. So yeah. how long have you been in the fitness industry, I guess, or, or, or doing fitness or helping people? Doing fitness for myself, I've been working out since 19, uh, since college. But as far as helping people, it's been about uh, it's been about 10 years now. Wow. 10 years that I've been personal training. Uh, I started a while back, and I started from ground zero. Never really worked in corporate. I had to build my clientele uh, from scratch, and uh, it was a long road. But we're here, you know. We're running boot camps uh, every day, helping a lot of people, you know. Yeah, man. So yeah. that's what it's all about. I'm really excited to have you on the team. I think it's gonna be an awesome fit. Uh, great guy all the way around. So he's definitely approved by Titan all the way through, and. Uh, you know, Maybe we get on stage. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll see how things go. Maybe, maybe. But our main thing is is health. Getting out there, spreading the good word about Titan Medical Center and how we can help you guys too. So, mm -hmm. I want to officially welcome you. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You Thank you so I don't take Thank on too so many much. people. No. So I'm really, really happy to have Reggie part of the team. Look for him on Titan Medical Center's platforms along with me and the rest of Team Titan. I appreciate it, guys, and we'll see you soon. That's cool. Cool, man. I'm excited. Hey guys, it's Cass, nurse practitioner with Titan Medical Center. I want to talk to you guys today about hormones, testosterone in particular. So I have a lot of questions from friends, family, and my patients. Should I test my hormones? Well, that's a great question. I think the answer is yes. So some may ask, what are the symptoms of low testosterone? Well, some of the symptoms may be being tired constantly, being irritable, depressed, not interested in events with friends and family, decreased muscle mass and strength, slower recovery, decreased sexual health, sexual dysfunction, weight gain. Those are all some of the signs of low testosterone. We, as human beings, naturally, our testosterone can decrease with age, illnesses, with medication and lifestyle choices such as, you know, being overweight, obesity, lack of exercise. So some of the benefits of balancing out your hormones such as your testosterone can be increasing your quality of life, being able to enjoy friends and family and you know events around you more often also having better energy levels being less irritable increasing your sexual health increasing overall wellness decreasing fat increasing muscle mass increasing muscle gain decreasing insulin resistance so evaluating if you are deficient on your hormones is achieved with a simple blood test we can know where your levels fall. We'll find out in a few days. We can put together a plan to balance out your hormones and bring back the happiness and you know vitality to your life. Give us a call, 727-389-3220. I'd love to help you out. And once again, guys, stay strong and stay healthy out there. What's up, guys? John here from Titan, and I'm here with our athlete, Titan athlete, Rachel Daniels, AKA The Real Lois Lane. Uh, and if you guys have been following us and following her journey, basically at this point, we're getting her ready for Olympia. Well, she's won three contests back to back to back, which is a three-peat so far, and we're going on for the fourth. But with all this comes a lot of training, right? You're beating yourself up, Put yourself through the ringer yeah and she's got this die-hard dedication she wants to win which is awesome so with that might come some injuries or some things that you you know cannot prevent and things that happen so you gotta make sure you're taking care of yourself 
more of the story is, is her shoulder started hurting what? How long has it been? Just a couple weeks at least. A couple weeks. And she's still been training. So at, when she said she couldn't do certain movements, the best thing for us to tell her to do is, is to get an MRI. Make sure there's no damage in there or find out what's going on so it can be properly treated and that she doesn't do any more damage to her shoulder. Um, so at this point, we got the MRI done for her. Uh, the MRI was done and it said basically a sprain, yeah. cyst, you know, it was in the labrum, um, but no tear. And we're specifically looking for that tear yeah, because um, we didn't know and hopefully it wasn't a slap tear. But it wasn't, so what we're going to do right now is try to get her some relief because she's still in some pain. Right? And she's a tough cookie. Okay? <laughs> so <laughs> tough cookies don't crack easy. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to give her a cortisone shot. Uh, we have our nurse practitioner. Cass here mm -hmm. and he'll be doing the injection for her in her delt and hopefully get her some good relief um, so she can at least you know let it rest take the inflammation out what, what would you say Cass as far as this goes so what we're doing today is a, a joint injection of, of a cortisone steroid that's going to help with inflammation it's going to help with pain it's going to help with range of motion immediately okay um, this is something that you don't want to feel better all of a sudden then over train and re-injure yourself so you want to take it easy you want to not train for at least a week or so so you give the joint chance to heal okay because it's going to feel better you don't want to do any damage when you when you get the better feeling of the relief and hurt yourself mm -hmm. okay so just rest it be ginger with it okay so right now, Cass is preparing um, the shoulder, the deltoid, for the injection, for the cortisone shot, um, and this will hopefully give her some relief. So at this point right now, he's clean and prepped it. He's actually looking for the area where he's going to stick it, might make sure that he's going into the proper area, and luckily, he's got some great experience of this. You know, I've had cortisone shots done by uh, Cass, and he's been a great nurse practitioner as far as that goes, uh, and be able to d deliver with his hands. Uh, at that point, he's definitely got me some good relief. And if I trust him to do it with my body, I definitely trust him to do it with the patients. I'm a real big stickler when it comes to these different things because you can cause some damage if you don't know what you're doing. So make sure a proper medical provider is doing something like this to you um, so you make sure that you don't do any irreparable damage to yourself. So right now, he's already placed where he's going to give the injection at. Um, he just wants to make sure, always double checking. So he's looking at the spot. Right now he's found his spot and he's gonna go in. He's going right into the joint right now. That's not bad at all. It doesn't hurt. It, it, it does have lidocaine in there mixed in there with the cortisone. And at that point it, it should take away any of the sting or any of the, the pain that you are in, injecting in there. Because you are filling it with fluid. Really so great. for some people it might be uncomfortable mm -hmm. for them getting an injection like this, but the lidocaine is gonna take away some of that pain that you would have, and then the steroid is gonna take away from the inflammation. So if you are in a lot of pain, this is definitely gonna take away that pain for you to get some relief. And that's the big thing. People really, really need this sometimes. Yeah. Now, this is not something you can do week after week or anything like that. You can only do a certain amount of cortisone injections um, to into areas per year, okay? And I think the, the maximum they say is four per year, um, or even three just by some medical providers and what they want to do for you guys. But the biggest thing is get relief, let it heal, and then get back into the game, work your way back up so you're not doing any more damage to your body or getting other injuries that you could prevent. So just make sure that you guys are warming up properly, um, you guys aren't trying to get an ego boost and lift all crazy. That's one thing about Rachel, you know, she is a girl, but she trains with some of the biggest beasts mm -hmm. out here in Tampa. Mm -hmm. So she Tuesday. always wants to step up and do that weight <laughs> and get tight and strong with these guys. Well, she definitely does hold her own. So hopefully this will help you. Yay, I got a little bandaid. She got the little lion, lioness bandaid. She's ready to go. So this was just something else the Type Medical Center helps our athletes and our patients with. Um, if they need relief like this with cortisone shots, we are happy and able to help our patients here in the area. So if you guys want to know more about this or any other of our other therapies, you guys can call or text us at 727-389-3220. Thank you for coming in, Rachel, and getting that done. Thanks, guys. Hopefully she feels better, and we're on our way to Olympia. Yeah. See you there.
Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. Just wanna kinda of touch base with you today and let you know why female hormones are so important to be evaluated and monitored, especially if you're experiencing symptoms that you may not really understand or um, see how it can be affected by hormones in the body. So hormones do play a very important role in the way that you're feeling and they do all kind of work together um, in conjunction to help regulate and balance each other within the body. So many times patients just feel really tired, weighed down, bloated, fatigued, have low sex drive or libido, and they just kind of think maybe it's stress related or something going on. And oftentimes, sure, it could be, but other times it's not. And you don't always know that unless you get your hormones evaluated to see what's really going on within the body. Certainly other medical conditions can also play a role in regulation and balance of these hormones, um, which you may not even be aware is taking place in the body. Um, so the best thing that you can do is to check your hormones, let us know how you're feeling, and see how we can help. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys for joining us. We really appreciate you guys tuning in every week or all the time to Cupid's Corner and listen to me and Sharice try to help you guys out with tips, tricks, and things that we possibly went through to maybe help you guys enhance your relationship, better things in your relationship, or maybe even take things up a notch uh, in the bedroom. So at that point, we always come up with different topics every week. Um, and these topics have affected us personally in most cases. Some haven't and stuff that I guess we've seen. Mm -hmm. um, but at that point, this one hits home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> literally speaking. <laughs> literally speaking, that's good, I like that. So uh, this hits home. Now, you guys might be faced with this now, you guys might be faced with this later. Or you might never and just luck out, who knows. But this one has to deal with your in-laws and that means your in-laws moving in or you taking care of your in-laws or whatever it may be it could even be just your parents when they get getting old or having them move in with your relationship right mm -hmm. so it doesn't necessarily have to be an in-law it could be your dad or mom that could be in the house around you guys all the time mm -hmm. oh all gosh the time. and that's fun let me tell you about <laughs> it so you know my dad's you know health is is you know a little unstable and stuff like that so my dad's lived with us for at least forever forever yeah uh, let's not so, even put it yeah it's been forever so <laughs> you know luckily we, we've got a pretty decent size house where we've got things separated and he's on one side and we're on the other side because it can get you know a, a little you know embarrassing i guess or tense at the same time uh, and this could be for a number of different things. Uh, you know, you might disagree on something and they're in that space or mm -hmm. something's just irritating you and you're in that space or you're trying to have fun time and you don't want to be loud. Now, if you got kids, you're already probably going through this <laughs> just depending on what it is. But if you have a kid, 11 years old, and then you have a 66-year-old guy. The so, additional child. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> that's really where the challenge is at. Now, I think that some of the things that we went through and you might be going through, it, it could strain the relationship, right? And mm -hmm. luckily, it's, we've been stronger through our relationship on this. Mm -hmm. But it can't strain it because, you know, you got your dad or mom or, you know, you're going against an in-law and you're dealing with all these different things because, you know, they're looking at what you're doing, critiquing it, criticizing things. Mm -hmm. You're like, hey, man, this is my house. Like, what, what are you talking about? Just leave me alone, right? Or and they're put, putting their two cents in yeah. where we're, we're not asking for two cents right, or right, five cents right. or even one cent. And I, I think it's just a, a, a natural <laughs> thing for, for some parents to do that because mm -hmm. that's their child still. And even though they might be an adult or you might be an adult, you know, it is what it is. So uh, they might be treating you like this or, you know, just going back to those old times uh, where they think they're right and you're wrong, mm -hmm. okay? And that may necessarily not be the, the issue at this point or the situation. So this is another thing that could hurt. Well, you obviously get some benefits from this too. Mm -hmm. So you, you know that if you have kids, you know, you want your kids to enjoy, you know, your parents too as well, right? Their grandparents. 
I think that's that's really key to, to have that, uh, to know them and, and know where they come from as far as that goes. Um, you know, I, I guess it's good for that. It's bad in a couple other ways because they might try to be the parent to your child. Mm. Yeah, we've I, actually that's come across a lot of different things. Even if they're not living in your house, yeah, that they still might do it when you send the yes. little ones over to their home, yes. and they're like, "Oh, that's okay. They can have some coke." I'm like, yeah. Mm, "No, yeah, I, he can't have coke. No, this is not this is not okay." Yeah. We said no. Absolutely. I said yes. I don't care. <laughs> Absolutely, that's kind of how it goes down, you know. So it's. You know, it's so like... It's, it can be a little tough. Yeah. Like I said, and even when they come visit. So, you know, you don't have them <laughs> living there with you. You know, it's a week or two weeks. You know, some of my guy friends, they're always, oh, man, the in-laws are coming, man. I'm, I'm going to be dead for like two weeks, man. I'm just, you know, and so it's a little stressful there too as well. Different people in the houses, different things, bathroom schedules, I mean, all the way down to food. Showering. Cleanliness. Like, they leave their stuff around or they may pick up or, you know, listen, they're like on you in OCD ways. Um, you know, like, why aren't you doing this or why aren't you doing that? You're like, hey, listen, just leave me alone. Let me be all Let me be. Care, just, okay? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't need it. And, and you could have... A stressful day at work right um, or something stressful happens in a relationship or in life and at that point you're there and they might be stressing you out even more mm -hmm. or they could help you too there, there's, there's somebody, the flip side to this there's too a flip side. you so got the in-house babysitter it's good and bad that's that, good and it's everything you know um you know in our scenario his dad is awesome at helping clean up a little bit around yeah. the house and helping with laundry and helps with peter's laundry yeah which is very helpful for us you know, so there are some benefits, you know, to, I think to everything, there's kind of like some benefits. Absolutely. And sometimes there's Absolutely. some, you know, pros and cons, let's call it. Always. Pros and cons. You got to take the good with the bad. Always. This happens with everything. It's never always good. I mean, if it's always good, it might be too, too good. good to be true. <laughs> this is <just> true. <laughs> you gotta, you might want to rethink a couple things. Yeah. Reevaluate, look at things from different angles, because you might have the smoke right covered over your eyes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but that is, is what it is. And if the pros weigh, definitely outweigh the, the cons, and the cons aren't too bad, and you can live with those cons, mm -hmm. I guess, it'll be a good good situation and a good relationship with you guys, and especially with COVID, uh, and the new generations and stuff like that, more than ever, people, you know, as far as uh, parents and children, you know, families living together, whether, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's bigger families or littler families. Because they couldn't afford to C Can't be afford it, bring, bring their things together. You know, obviously people were sick because of COVID, people were affected job-wise because of COVID. Um, so it's just something that people are dealing with. Mm -hmm. um, and this is pretty common in a lot of cultures too around the world. Mm -hmm. So like Japan's like that too as well where they have the thinking mentality that where the parents take care of the kid growing up and at that point when they get old, now the kid has to take care of them. Mm -hmm. And that's really how it should be. And a lot of cultures are like that. You know, you take care of your own, you take care of your family. When they get old, you take care of them. You know, you're not just sticking them in a home if you don't need to, mm -hmm. you know. Some people need that medical care, but most don't. They want a loving family member that they want to be around and just listen to them talk about their old stories. Right, right, you know, right. You might hear that story a hundred times. <laughs> like, yeah, no. Um, so. Yeah, you know, but I mean, there are solutions to this to some degree. So a couple solutions in case you're in this situation, let's just say, because you want a solution, right? You don't always want to be like, oh my gosh, this is a problem. I always tell John if there's a problem, we need a solution. Let's come up with a solution because we can talk about the problem all day long, but if we don't have a solution. Now that sounds pretty familiar. If we don't have a solution, we won't get very far. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's my thing. Yeah. <laughs> just <stop. laughs> don't just complain about it. You can complain about it all day. Talk about doing a solution. What are we going to do to fix it? That's what's going to get you out of it. You're not going to just sit there So, and you know, if you're in a position where you can get, they make these homes with mother-in-law suites, right? And that's, it's basically still an attachment to the home, but they kind of have their own little space. You know, they got their own little kitchen and they got their own little, and it's still attached to the house. You can still walk into the house. You can go hang out in the living room, all that jazz. So, you know, you've got that. Um, also, if you guys don't agree, so I'll give you an example because I love giving examples. Um, this is the best way to do it. Absolutely. So, you know, communication, again, this is not just between each other, but communication across episode. the board. Yeah. I communicate with my employees. I communicate with my child. I communicate with my parents. I, I communicate with my brother. I communicate with him. You know, that's what you're supposed to do. So communication's key. So if you can communicate, let's just say that in my scenario, you know, in the mornings, I'm really busy. I'm super busy. So this is not the time to ask me about anything or to talk to me about anything or to come in the room and start talking because I'm going to be deaf. Okay. You're not going to, you're not going to get my attention for anything because I am so tied up with work 
that this is just not the time. So if you can communicate that to the in-law and say, hey, listen, in the mornings between this time and this time, this is not the time to talk to me about anything, okay? So don't talk to me <laughs> during this time. And you can say it nicely where they understand, okay, cool, I understand you need to work. Um, but if you communicate like, hey, listen, I don't like this, I don't like that, please change this, please change that. You know, little things like that, it can make a big difference, a Absolutely. huge difference. It can make a huge difference. I mean, this is not going to obviously fix everything in the home, you know, whether you guys take the same shower and then I start complaining to John, I don't have any more hot water and I have all this hair to wash. What am I gonna do? I don't know, I can't do this anymore, oh my gosh. I'll just tell him, but like, listen, do not take a shower until you check with me first, okay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> and, you know, kind of what, what I was thinking about this topic, what, you know, what really brought it up to me was, is I was watching, you know, there's these shows like on TLC, like um, Living With Her Mom or whatever it was. Oh my gosh, there. Mama's it's Boy or Mama's something? Boy is yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in love with the Mama's with Boy. Yeah, yeah. That. So, you know, there's different <laughs> ones and it works on both sides, women and males too, so... It just is what it is. So this is just one thing that we've dealt with that mm -hmm. maybe you're going to deal with or you're dealing with mm -hmm. uh, and just don't know what to do. So we've tried to lay out some different things and approaches for you guys to help you guys out in this situation. <laughs> so hopefully it does and hopefully everything works out and you have a great relationship with your mom, dad, in-laws, and everybody's getting along and playing nice with each other. Okay? <laughs> but anyway. You don't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in to another Cupid's Corner. We really appreciate all the support. We're going to be here for you guys, try to answer these questions, try to give you guys some awesome, good information that you guys can utilize and maybe hopefully make your relationship a strong relationship and a better relationship. So I'm John. And I'm Sharice. And we're signing off from Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you next Sunday.